Thank you so much for joining me here today, Alyssa Arundel, for our May 2020 tarot card reading. I'm really honoured that you're uh, spending your time with me here today. And for this month's reading, in ordinary circumstances, I'd like us to delve more into our relationships, into our finance, into our career. Um, but current, the current climate really is dictating a lot of decisions we can make and a lot of things that we can do. And so... And because of this coronavirus, I thought that this month we could look more into our internal being and our, more about our spiritual path, more about our self-development. And that might sound a little bit boring to some of us, but really that inner journey, that inner dialogue is really going to help us navigate forwards in our lives. And so that is the intention that I'm putting onto the cards for this month. So without further ado, let's get into this month's reading to see what it holds for you. Hello Gemini and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of May 2020. Now let's see what this month holds for you. So we're going to have a look at your present situation first. We have here the three of pentacles. This is very much a card about teamwork, um, team building in some way. It can be to do with DIY because this is the card of the mason and the apprentices. So it could be that you want to get your uh, something done to where you live. Um, just a very sort of teamworky, grounded card. So that's a good place to start um, for your present situation. What's blocking you here? Whoa, okay. Well, we have the devil card blocking you here. So I feel as though it's like you're wanting to get your house in order, you're wanting this uh, a bit of structure, a bit of teamwork, a bit of peace, and then boom, this devil com card comes in and blocks you. The devil isn't a, a, a card to be absolutely scared of. I mean, I know it looks a bit uh, menacing, but really, the devil card means that we're stuck in some way. We are attached to something that is toxic and not good for us. It can uh, be to do with a toxic relationship of some kind. It can be an addiction of some kind. Some It can be even, um, you know, being stuck on our past too much to the point where we can't move forward. You have uh, the picture of the devil here and he has these chains around these two humans we're being like we're being tied to something from our past very interesting because it actually looks a bit like um the three of pentacles in the way that it's formed so it's you know we've got this this trinity idea going on here um so it could be it, 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 in this sense uh it could be being attached to somebody who's in a relationship for example or it could be that um, we're the one wandering off. You know, it, it doesn't have to be that severe, but there's definitely something that is holding you back, Gemini, from really uh, experiencing all of who you can be. So let's have a little look and find out what this could be. There's no need for alarm. We all go through these stages in life. So the card that grounds you here, well, this is this is a great card to ground you. This is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is about your harvest coming in. Um, I think it was Taurus that had this card come up as well. You know, if you think about the Seven of Pentacles, it's planting seeds in a field. And the Nine of Pentacles is about harvesting uh, those um, goodies. So harvesting might sound great. It might sound like, oh, well, that's fun. I can, you know reap what I've sown but it's like it's hard work right it's still hard work you're not quite at the 10 where you can sit back and like look at everything and enjoy everything you're still having to work very very hard to bring those things into your life so it is a card of hard work it's a card of um you know strength it's a card of being determined but um it is a positive card so the past here for you Gemini has been the eight of wands. I feel like things have been moving very quickly for you in the past, like that you haven't been able to catch a breath. It's almost like you've been through some challenge. Could have been to do with your health. Um, could be to do with a relationship. And it's all kind of accumulated and, and got on top of you almost. I feel like um, 
oh well there we go you've got the queen of wands that comes up for the card that spiritually crowned you you want to be taken seriously here gemini you want to be somebody that um get a people respect you want people to respect you and they should do you have a lot of qualities and you have put in this hard work this is a fiery card so it's interesting how you would want people to sort of see you in this way but you have this energy coming in so i do feel that you can command some respect from those around you if you feel like you are not getting um receiving that kind of respect that you deserve you have here in your immediate future the four of pentacles not the greatest of cards you know this can be a bit apathetic you can feel a little bit tired run down um just sort of stuck in a rut not knowing where to go um it's just a card of stagnation really i'm not going to lie to you so this could be again to do with like some of the lockdown energy you could be feeling as though um you're not being able to express yourself properly you're stuck this could be what the devil card means you want to get out you want to you want to change things up you've got all these ideas buzzing and this fiery energy coming into your your mind into your being but there's nothing you can do about it and that is frustrating um so if you have been feeling frustration it's really no wonder but your state of mind here gemini is the two of cups uh it could be here that you have been chatting to somebody uh, in a romantic context online or over text message maybe you're just desperate to see them or desperate to meet them um, and and you're not being able to at the moment that could indicate why you've been feeling so trapped um, but if you're not currently um, you know in that the bud the buds of that romance and you are in a current relationship it could be that you want that to be renewed or refreshed in some way maybe you feel like that that relationship's gone a bit stagnant if you're currently single it could be that you're wanting that soulmate relationship so this is really a card of souls coming together usually in a romantic context and sharing uh in that love I have the two of cups actually tattooed on here because it is important for us to have to experience that and if you want to have that type of relationship in your life there is you know you deserve to have it so perhaps it's about speaking up um, and asking the universe or uh, you know speaking to people about what it is you actually want being a bit more vocal about what you want rather than you know trying to please everybody else outside influence here we have the king of pentacles this could represent a love interest whether you're male or female if it does represent a love interest it is somebody who you see as um as very successful in some way they could be older than you they may be more financially secure or they may just just be financially secure they may have a lot going for them in terms of um their business it could be what you really find fascinating about this person in your life is their ambition and that really kind of turns you on is the fact that they have this ambition they have goals and dreams if it doesn't represent a person it could be this energy coming into your life again you're wanting to get things in order you're wanting to succeed give yourself these goals and do well but you're just stuck at the moment um let's have a look here so this is your fear you've got the five of wands come up this is um this is this is conflict this is fights this is things um misunderstandings it can usually be between siblings when this card comes up although it's not just limited to siblings but usually these fights are not um you know uh, they, they they may feel serious at the time but they're not like complete um you know it's not a complete red flag it's not a complete like crunch time it's like something's been bubbling that's needed to come out and you're frightened perhaps of this conflict with this person but i think it needs to be had in order to sort of clear the air in some way and maybe you maybe this person doesn't live with you and you you don't want to have this conversation over text message because obviously in a lot of places we still can't socially mingle so perhaps it's it's a fear of like how to bring it up with this person but i do think whatever needs to come off your chest gemini you have to get it off 
Um, we have here your, I've just pulled two cards for your, um, for your outcome. We have the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Interesting. A lot of times when sword cards come up, people get a little bit uh, freaked out because um, swords aren't always the best suit. <laughs> but for you, Gemini, this is perfect. This is an air sign. Uh, these are air elements. The Ace of Swords represents cutting through any lies, getting to the truth of matters. It's very much a card about innovation, about business, about things that have been challenging in the past that you're really uh, coming through. It's about new ideas. It's about inventions. This is a very Ace of Swordsy time for us in a lot of ways because as much as there has been um, a lot of negativity and a lot of bad things happen, there has been a lot of um, invention happening. I think a lot of the ideas are coming to you about how you can change your future. You've got the King of Swords here. I think this again just reiterates you, whether you're male or female. I think you're wanting to get to a place in your life where you're more... Well, you feel respected, like we said earlier, but that you also um, you also are accepted and um, known for your your talents. Basically, you want people to understand that you have this logic, and that you may sometimes flip flop between ideas. But it's not because you're flaky. It's it's be, it's often because you're trying to figure out the best route to go down, and sometimes plans do change. But I think you're going to be quite steadfast, holding on to what it is you believe in. So for the month of May, just to recap, we have this. You know, you want a bit of teamwork. You're feeling stuck in some ways. You're feeling a bit apathetic. Perhaps you just want to get going with things. You want relationships to be different. You want to experience perhaps a soulmate relationship. Um, and you want to feel more respected. There are a few arguments to be had, but I think that's going to clear the air. And I think ultimately you'll come out on top uh, because of all of this. Thank you so much again for joining me here today for your monthly reading. Um, I'm really honoured that you spent the time with me. If you would, again, like to check out your free three-card tarot reading, you can find the information in the description box beneath this video, as well as your own one-to-one -one personal reading with myself or even with Patrick. So until we speak again next month, I'm sending you many blessings and keep safe and well. Alyssa. <laughs>